In this video series, we will provide mock interview of students who went through the naturalization interview during COVID-19. We hope this helped. Let's begin. Hi, how can I help you today? Hi, I am here for my naturalization interview appointment. What time is your appointment? 9.30 a.m. Can you show me your appointment letter and ID? Sure, here you go. Confirms appointment. Have you had any symptoms of COVID-19 such as coughing, fever, or difficulty breathing? No. Have you been in close contact with anyone known or suspected to have COVID-19 in the last 14 days? No. Have you traveled out of the country within the last 14 days? No. Have you been asked by healthcare provider or public health official to self-quarantine or self-isolate within the last 14 days? No. Okay, please come in and put your belongings in the bin and go through the metal detector. Okay. Please take your stuff and go to the counter and someone will help you. How can I help you today? I am here for my naturalization interview today. Please sign in. Sign the sign-in sheet. Can you show me your appointment letter and ID? Sure, here you go. Great, please take your appointment letter and ID back and take this number, A20, and have a seat. The interviewer will call you when he or she is ready. Thank you. Take the documents back in the ticket and wait in the seating area. Number A20, Ivan Angelov. Here. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I am good. How about you? I am good. I am Officer Jones and I will be conducting your interview today. Please follow me. Please keep your mask on at all times and stand on the other side of the plexiglass and put your belongings on the chair. Okay. Put stuff on chair and remain standing. We will do oath now. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Okay. Applicant raised right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Great, please have a seat now. Applicant sits down. I will go over the interview process with you. First we will do the civic test, then we will do the English reading and writing test. If you pass both, we will go over the N-400 application you filled out. Do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Great, to pass the civics test, I will ask you 10 questions and you need to answer 6 correctly to pass. Let's start. Okay. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense and Secretary of Energy. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give a driver's license. Who is the governor of your state now? Gavin Newsom. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Sorry, I don't know. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? 
freed the slaves. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six years. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Great. You got six questions correct. You passed the civic test. Next is the English reading and writing test. You need to read one sentence and write one sentence correctly to pass. Let's start. Please read the sentence on the tablet in front of you. Who is the father of our country? That's correct. Now, I am going to read you a sentence and you need to write it down on the tablet. You can use the stylus, pen. Reading out a sentence, please listen carefully. Washington was the father of our country. That's correct. You passed both the civics test and English reading and writing test. Let's go over your N-400 application. Can you give me your green card and passport that you have? Please include all the expired and non-expired ones. Sure. Here you go. Give document to officer. Thank you. Immigration officer reviewing all the documents. Can you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Ivan Angelov, August 31, 1977. Do you want to legally change your name? No. Do you need any accommodation today? No. Have you moved since you applied for citizenship? No. So, you still live at 2328th Avenue, San Francisco, California 94116? Yes. How did you get your green card? Through my company. Are you currently employed? Yes. Do you still work for the same employer? Yes. What is the name of the company? I work at Microsoft. Where is the company located? Their main office is in Seattle, but I am working in the Sunnyvale's branch office. What do you do for them? I am a software engineer. How long have you worked for the current employer? I worked there for over 12 years. What is your current marital status? I am married. What is your wife's name? Kareen Angeloff. How long have you guys been married? Five years. Can you show me the marriage certificate? Sure, here you go. Show marriage certificate. Is your wife currently working? No, she is a housewife. She did not work after marriage. Do you have any children? No. Are either of your parents American citizens? No. Where do they live? They are living in Russia. Have you traveled outside the United States in the past five years? Yes. How many times? Ten times. 
What were they for? Five of them were for visiting my parents in Russia. Five of them were business trips to China. When was the last trip? I went to Russia to visit my parents from April 12, 2019 to April 30, 2019. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Why you did not vote? Because I am not a U.S. citizen. Do you always pay your taxes? Yes. Do you owe any taxes? No. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on an of the tax returns since you got your green card? No. Why is that? Because I live in the U.S. and I am a legal resident. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? No. Have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Have you ever advocated directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever committed any crime or offense? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited or detained? Yes, I have a speeding ticket before. The fine was over $500. Did you take care of the ticket? Yes, I paid the fine and went to traffic school. Did you bring a copy of the payment? Yes, here you go. Give payment copy to officer. Anything else? No, that is it. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter, or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I will. What is the oath of allegiance? Promise to be loyal to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I will. Can you give me an example of work of national importance? If there were an earthquake, I would help the Red Cross take care of people. Great. Please take a look over the application one last time on the tablet. Do you have anything that you want to change? If no changes, please sign and date at the bottom. Checks the application form for errors. Signs and dates and gives back the tablet to officer.
Thank you. We will now read the Oath of Allegiance and confirm that you are willing to take the Oath of Allegiance. If you agree, write your full name, sign and date at the bottom of the tablet. Reviews the Oath of Allegiance, then writes name, signs, dates and gives back the tablet to officer. Great. You passed the interview. Here is a copy of the N-652 form to indicate you passed. Do you want to take the Oath of Allegiance ceremony at 2 p.m.? Yes. Great. Here is the appointment letter for you to come back at 2 p.m. for the oath ceremony. Thank you. Take the letter and come back at 2 p.m. Do you have any other questions for me? No, thank you so much. This is the end of the N-400 interview appointment. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Thank you.